Good day. Welcome to King William Was Everything. Today I want to take a look at a video converter. Let's see. Come on, baby. Let's get this out of the way. Get that out of the way. This is a, let's see, somewhere on here has the model number. A GPS 8200 version 4 and the date is 2014 515 and what this fellow does it takes inputs from other video devices and exports it out as VGA so you kind of see here um, it has EGA RGB um, a lot of a lot of people use this for or actually most people use this for um, taking a old arcade cabinet and convert it into an LCD. So that's kind of like this 15 kilohertz. This will go to your monitor. Uh, same with these guys here would go to the, uh, the tube monitor. And you would export it out as a, a VGA so you could put an LCD flat panel on there. And if you look at the power, I'm kind of confused about the power because it says 5 volts, 5 to 12 volt DC. And with the jack, so there's two options, or 5 volts. So I'm assuming it's 5 volt. I don't know if I put 12 volt into it, but uh, since this is uh, 5 volt, I tried following the traces to see if it, uh, these are connected anyway. It's kind of hard to tell, but I'm assuming 5 volt's the way to go, even though this is 5 to 12 volt. So maybe it's arranging, but uh, I'm going to use the 5 volt on uh, arcade power supply. And so we're just going to use these little fellows. Put a couple little ends on it just to plug it into the power supply. I'm not going to use a separate power supply. I'm going to use all the power from uh, arcade cabinets. So this is going to be for a, a Cherry Master uh, converted uh, the flat panel, or actually the uh, the CRT to an LCD, so it's modernized. And that's kind of what we're going to do with this guy. Uh, you kind of see also on the uh, the RGB part it has some little pots so you can adjust the colors. So that's kind of cool. Um, so it's kind of little features. When I first got this, you can kind of see, let's get Mr. Wires out of the way. It's in Chinese. I'll just say uh, CGA slash EGA slash UV to VGA. Uh, also in Chinese. Um, I got it from, I believe, off eBay. And initially it was in Chinese. Very struggling uh, to get this to come up in English. I finally figured it out. Got through the menus and found English, and then I was good to go. Uh, it's pretty simple after that, how you set it up. Uh, I think there's some auto. You hold on the auto button if you want it to auto do its stuff. But if you want the menus in English, you have to find English. I put these little feetsies on there because uh, I'm going to mount it on on a back plane, and I want it to mount nice and neat. And uh, I don't think there's really anything on the bottom. No, there's nothing on the bottom. So airflow is not that important. It does have a heat sink on here, but I want to nicely, neatly mount it. So these are these I've added on myself. Uh, so that's not something that would come with it. But so what we're going to do, we're going to plug this fellow in, and we'll take a look at. Um, uh, the menus just take a quick peek at it and see what it looks like and the only thing other thing it does comes it comes with the power lead and uh, this lead I'm not going to use it but I'm going to kind of uh, pigtail it up and tie it on there so I don't lose it so let's go and plug her in and take a look and be back in moments and we're back uh, so what I've done I've hooked this up to a, a power supply and hooked up to a LCD this is just a cruddy old Acer, nothing fancy. So let's turn it on. Let's see what we get here. And you can see it's just a old Acer monitor. And there you go, some Chinese lettering and no signal. I don't have any signal plugged into this so you can see anything. But I, I figured I'd just show you the menus. Um, of the four buttons, there's uh, up, down, and there's SW and menu. And SW, I believe... Uh, Let's you switch between the modes, the RGBS, RGBHV, YPBPR, RGBS, so I think we're at the back, back at the beginning. And that's basically the modes. I think there's an auto button here, and I think that automatically maybe detects it. I can't remember what that does. Uh, but let's go in the menu. And this is kind of where it was screwing me over. You can see by default uh, what it does, it switches to Chinese. Oh, that's wonderful. But I did find just by poking through the menus, number four lets you select English. Bam. And I think one of the things I did notice um, 
when you turn this off and lose power, it does go back to Chinese, but that's fine. I mean, once you set it, you kind of set it. Uh, I didn't really find any way to say save, but it does keep its settings and all that, so that's kind of cool. And see, the resolutions are 4480, 800 by 600, 1024, 768, and 1360 by 768. So we're just going to use 1024, 68. And return and picture. Uh, normal stuff, brightness, contrast, saturation, sharpness, and default. You know, you can change uh, whatever you like. And let's go back to return and display. Where are we there? We are in display. Geometry, uh, horizontal position, vertical position, horizontal size. So here you can set some sizes, that kind of thing. Uh, move around your display. Now let's go back to return and display geometry picture. So I think we saw most of it. We saw that already. Oops. And return and geometry display language. Saw that English Chinese is the only two that you get. And exit. So pretty simple. I mean, it doesn't get any simpler than that. But uh, you know, for the price and what it does, it's pretty cool little 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 board. And I believe I'm kind of thinking maybe the original Xbox. I think maybe. I can't remember what else. Smaller consoles had the uh, little RGB goofball cable that came with it. You never knew what it did. Uh, you can plug into here and I'll, I'll put it straight into a VGA. So that's kind of cool. So you could use it for that also. But, but mainly most people use this for is converting an old CRT um, arcade cabinet to a uh, flat panel. And it's basically the only way you really can do it. But it works really well. It's simple. It's small. Um, I have it hooked up to 5 volt. Um, so you just run it off your JAMA uh, arcade cabinet power supply or a power supply that has 5 volts. I think you can plug in uh, one with the little barrel connector that says 5 to 12 volts. But I'd stick with the 5 volts because it seems like that's uh, what it's kind of leaning towards. But um, anyway, you know, get yourself one. Uh, put some links down below, maybe some uh, where you can kind of find one on uh, eBay or whatever. You know, But I, I think there's some arcade shops out that, that are selling this. And uh, anyway... Have a great day.